Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Episode 22, and we finally got a really good friend and honestly, a big supporter yes. since day one, yes. Miss Ashley Martinez. Woo! Thank you for finally coming out. I know, no problem. Getting Thanks out, for having me. Getting out of a, or well, still trying to get it, yes. get you out of the little shell because mm-hmm. it is nerve wracking being on camera, putting the, you know, like other podcasts, they have it just. Uh, without the camera and just the audio, mm-hmm. but here we do it both. Yeah, so people that can is nerve wracking. So I'm people, like, yeah, do I look at you. Do I look there? <laughs> no, like, however you to? feel, but it, it's just like for people to see the the emotions, to see what happens and how it goes yeah. on, and uh, you know. So again, we just take two. But how old are you? Twenty seven, from Baldwin Park. Grew up in Baldwin Park. Have lived there my whole life. Still live in Baldwin Park. <laughs> We can't, we can't leave the hood. Eventually, well, I feel well, like that's always the goal, but yeah. still currently there. So I want to get right into it. And uh, again, how I just said, this one's a little bit more nerve-wracking for a different reason. Yeah. So yeah, that's Noah. So you, we'll see Noah a little right now. <laughs> um, because we've had these conversations on the side, mm-hmm. on messages yeah. since day one, since... And it's crazy, yeah. you know what I mean? Like how and we, we always ha- have really good conversations. Yeah, it's not just like, "What's up? What are you Hi, up to? How are you? All right, bye." I mean, they are like, "How are you?" conversations, yeah. but they're like, "How are you? What do you think about that? Or how's da 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 happening?" Or like, yeah, and very... then we throw the views on pretty yes, much everything yeah. that happens. Yeah. And I was just talking yesterday. We had uh, her Brittany's family's like a wedding, or whatever, mm-hmm. and I ran into uh, Sergio. I know. I seen him in her post, and I. I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're talking about that and shout out Sergio because yeah, shout he Yeah, Sergio. I love that guy. Yeah. I was really so good ener- friends with him in high school. So energetic yes. and uh obviously know him now because uh Brittany. with Brittany and everything and uh he supported also the channel since day one and then we supported him on what he yeah. what he started. So we had that conversation yesterday okay. too about hey, like what's why did you stop or why mm-hmm. haven't you done it? And it's like, oh, it's in my head. Da, da, da. And then I was like, hey, well, tomorrow I have Ashley here. He was like, oh, dude, like Ashley's so I, I know, was like, I love that guy. yeah. So my question to you <laughs> is why are you why are you so nice and why are you so supportive of a lot of people? Oh, um, I just love that energy. Mm. Like I like people to know that like, hey, like. If you need anything, like, let me know. Like, I'm here for you. Like, you know, like, or to give people, like, my best judgment. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot of people that are, like, fake supporters that they'll be like, oh, yeah, like, your shit's popping. Yeah. But they're, like, not really, like, hey, you know, the water bottle wrapper should go this way because it kind of looks better. Like, yeah. you know, like, and I feel like I'm like that towards people. Like, I'll be like, dude, this was good. This was good. Because you're very but, positive. Da, 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 da. You're positive yeah, to I am. to But I was I don't think I was always like that. Mm, that was my next question. Yeah, no, I for sure like I think if people from high school know me <laughs> or knew me cuz I'm obviously not like that anymore. Yeah. Um or I I think that I wasn't that like a positive person before. Mm. I wasn't like that loving either cuz yeah. I feel like now I'm very like oh, okay, love you. Yeah. Like I always tell everybody like I love you always. Yeah. Like that way they know that I love them right now but also so why did, so why do you always. think why do you think that changed? Um, I think I went through things in life mm. that made me feel like you know tell the people you love you love them support them when you could if you could yeah however you could and like even verbal feedback is like enough support you know like yeah big time. I feel like even sending somebody a text like hey like how are you like I've been thinking about you is like enough yeah because I don't need like constant. <laughs> communication we're good with just that seven, but yeah. i try to be p- supportive to people like in just whatever they do in life because there's a lot of people that are not supportive they don't want to see you do well yeah and that's what actually i brought it up to sergio yesterday and I, I bring it up to anybody like obviously what we're doing here and i think just in general when you do something you have like the real supporters mm-hmm. but then you have those people that support you and then turn around and yeah. just talk like mm. like all right when is he gonna stop when yeah. is he gonna quit when is she gonna I just can't stop wait for that them to fail. yeah like yeah. oh she's out of his mind or why is he even doing that 
And it's just like, in my head, it's like, all right, well. I also love people, like we were saying right now, like about the small business. Like, yeah. dude, I'm for that. Like, I love that. You are, dude. Yeah, like, no, I'm really, I like, I love that. Like, if you freaking tell me that you're selling water bottles, what's up? Give me a case. So, like, I'll buy two. Funniest thing, I think when the relationship really happened with you, or it clicked in my head, is when we had the fundraising. Oh, yeah, we yeah. We had yeah. the fundraising, the and I posted mm-hmm. it. And, and I boom, and here you are. And it was just like, <laughs> Me eating biology? Yeah, and I was like, man, that's crazy. And everything after that, the conversations yeah. that are, are just amazing. I think and it was like, I remember going to like two fundraisers, like the Paralegia one, I think the Chipotle one. Yeah. And then like this, like probably the third the, encounter the, that I had with you was um, when I bought that blanket. Yeah. You remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. Man, that, oh, man. Me. That, that's why like when I, when I say true true like friends all of them are actually supporting yeah you, you know and when when they're really sincere mm-hmm. and i feel like that's just you Aww. like anybody you. that no, i truly am i love everything you do and like what you stand for like i feel like i tell you like dude yeah like yeah you do it up all the time like, dude, good <laughs> shit you know yeah yeah and like i try to like get through the podcast like every time you post them and i'm like like waiting to like we go along but i mean i hope you watch you yourself on this one I know. <laughs> you're gonna see like man i was nervous no i am yeah, but we're both nervous and that's what uh when you really have people that again you talk to every, how you said every so often but you have those real conversations yeah. and those are the ones that really count it's just like well you can't really find those mm-hmm. out there because other people that you have those conversations with may not care and they're yeah. just giving you that feedback like oh that's cool but also, there's people that just, like, want to conversate to know what's up. Mm. And they don't care. Like, they that, just want to know, like, hey, what's the, going on in your life? The cheese mm, Cool. The cheese mosos. And then it's like, that's it. But, like, what's yeah. really going, like, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, you can tell when people are having those conversations, like, those, like, small talks Yeah. So, with you. So, what do you, if you don't mind me asking, what do you think helped you transition into not being a very loving or very emotionally attached to mm-hmm. your own feelings? to the way I am now the way you are now um I think a lot of things um Mm. so I think a lot of people don't know this but I like while I was in high school well my senior year in high school my dad got deported Mm. so that was like literally I don't think anybody knew I don't remember like ever posting about it like never seen anything he got deported when I was in high school like the last like four months he got deported in April of my senior year so he wasn't there he didn't come back until October. So um, I think through that time, before that, like, I was just, like, I f- feel that I was, like, really tough towards people, like, tough love, tough. I think I still am that way, but just, like, I'm very, like, closed off. I used to be very closed off with people and just, like, yeah. I had a different mindset. So when that happened, I think, like, I was, like, oh, dude, like, the little bit of people that knew, like, I was, like, you know, I need to also be different towards them because they don't deserve me to be mean to them yeah. or, like, be a certain way. Um, and then obviously years after high school, I went through my child loss, um, which I think definitely changed me completely. If I have to say like, literally, like I, I feel like it was like a 180. Like, I don't think I even see life the way I used to before. Yeah. Um, so I think those two things, um, really made me feel like be more loving towards people. Cause it made me feel like, you know, you have this person now, but you might not have him forever. For sure. Like I had my dad one day in April and then the next day gone mexico yeah like didn't see him for a month or a, like a week until we found him in yeah. tj because when you get deported it's no joke they just drop you off oh, they shit. don't tell you where we're dropping you off they no just pull shit. up in a bus and drop you off and like figure luck. it out they don't i'm sure it's not even a good luck like figure, figure it out you know that out, we yeah. literally were like driving through streets finding him trying to look for him really so, I mean, Damn. it was that. It was also, like, you know, my the child loss that I went through. Like, I was just like, dude, this, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. Like, real I mean, stuff. Real loss. Like, one day to another type of thing. So, I think I'm, I try to be very, like, embrace moments. Yeah. Like, I try to not be on my phone as much. I try to not, like, give my families over. I try to stay, go outside, be, like, in the living room, like, hang out with them instead of just, like, hanging out in my room, being by myself. Because that's what I used to always do. Mm-hmm. I still do it sometimes when I have to. Yeah. But when in my heart I feel like I need to be out there, I go out there. So I go do the thing. Would you say the people outside of your family, friends, I w- you would say, 
do you have a lot of those or just very few of those? I feel like I have very few friends. Like, because you, you you travel, with, I do you travel, travel with, with, with one of your friends, with one right? of my friends. Yeah, I have a friend that lives in Florida, um, whom I met in high school. We kept like really good contact, yeah. um, like throughout high school, kind of. And then after high school, he invited me to his like going away party. I went, um, then like years later, he has a baby in Florida. Years yeah. later, he's like. I'm getting married, and I was like, "Send mm. me the invite." <laughs> I was like, "What, really?" Let's make like, it happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So I went to the wedding. Um, no. I think that was mine. Yeah. So I went to the wedding, and then shortly after, I mean, literally, a, like the year later, he's like, "We're pregnant," and I was like, "Let me know. Like, I'm down for the baby shower." Yeah. So then he's like, "Do you want to be the baby's Nina?" Oh. Sh- and I was like, "Me, little old me from Alden Park. Okay, <laughs> I'm down." So yeah, like I'm gonna baptize a baby girl in Florida. Yeah. So then I went again, obviously for the baptism. I went to meet her when she was born. And then I recently went to spend 4th of July with them. Wow. Yeah. That's so I have true. very, I mean, like, I have friends. I mean, yeah. some of them just happen to be very far. But it that's so cool. But they're be- like real friendships, you know. Yeah. They're not just like little conversation friendships. We have really good conversations that's when important. we're there. We catch up. That's catch important. Up, catch up. Yeah. Yeah, because... I really think, obviously, we all go through our own stuff. Mm -hmm. We all have things going on in our lives that, how you said, a lot of people don't know. Yeah. A lot of people don't see what we go through Mm -hmm. off the camera or off of the phone, off of social media. And, uh, again, taking it back to when we had uh, the guys on, Mm -hmm. you know, you fight your own demons. Dude, yeah. And there's nobody. That one was, like, amazing. Yeah, like, there's nobody that can fight your own demons but you. And it's like, uh, you know, it's it affects you. Yeah. And... And it affects people around you. And I think a lot of people don't acknowledge that because when I went through my child loss, I always thought like, in, I remember like um, in those moments, I thought like, this is such a me thing. Like, mm-hmm. why are you here? Yeah. Like, just go home. You don't have to be here. I do because I'm admitted yeah. to the hospital. You don't have to be here. You can walk out. Yeah. Just go. Because I'm not that I'm used to people walking out of my life. I'm just used to people like me not telling people what's happening with me. So like, I get uncomfortable when people are like, are you okay? Yeah. Like, that's a tough question. Because it's easy to be like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. But, like, if you asked me, like, are you okay? Like, I would tell you like, differently. If you're not, like, a I'm good type of friend. It's because how you said earlier, like, there's certain people that you can really tell. Yeah. Like, when you ask, hey, am I, like are you talk. okay? Yeah. And shout out to my boy Paco. Mm-hmm. When was, like, Yeah, shout probably- out Paco because, dude, that. Paco Those way. podcasts with the with uh, the guys, yeah. that one was fire. Paco Paco's a one, and uh, you know he's in his own journey. And congratulations on his new job, you know. So yes. shout out to you, my boy. Um, it, it was like three weeks ago, and he had he usually posts his things on social media, on the close friends, and it's kind of like check ins. And I just felt the need to, like, I think it was like, oh, basically, how are you, one? Mm-hmm. And I felt the need to just reply because I haven't, I didn't tell anybody, but I was like, I am a, I'm like a four. Like, I'm struggling, okay. bro. Mm-hmm. And what did he do? Call me. Yeah. Boom. What's, What's going on, here? hermano? I was like, and the next day, hermano, it's it's a great day. Mm-hmm. Let's go get it. Let's go get this money. Yeah, let's, let's kill it. And I was like, yeah. And, then, yeah. and it's, it's, I'm going back to it, but. How we tell people, it just depends on who you mm-hmm. are, who you are to, to us in our lives. Yeah, yeah. Because, again, a lot of people, I could tell you everything we're going on, but you can turn around and be like, what the fuck? Don't care. I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah, literally. It's like you just... I but just, it's also like it sucks because you have to go through situations where you express to somebody to figure out that they are not the person you're going to talk to again, you know? Like, yeah. give that much to. Because that transition from being... Fr- all these friends in high school. Yeah. To, I mean, you're like a graduating class of like 300, 400, 500 people. Yeah, and everybody knows you. And all everybody your, knows you. Everybody knows your business. They know where you live, what you eat, what you, time you use the you restroom. You have, what, six classes, 30 kids in yeah. each classroom, different kids, some of them mostly say hi. You know, Noah's mm-hmm. in the background mm-hmm. saying hi. Hi, Papa. Hi, handsome. <laughs> and, uh, and that's, again, now like since he's, we're look, literally looking at him like, that lesson that he will learn at one point yeah. the same way. Like, and it's like, because they have to go through that. Yeah. I tell my niece, I have uh, two older nieces, like, older than Miley. Yeah. Um, they're in high school, and I tell them all the time, like, dude, like, these, like, 
you're in a class of this many people, like they don't matter. Like yeah. have your three friends, your four friends, like, and just go. Like you will never. Don't worry about everybody else. Yeah, like maybe you'll run into him, right? We, you might. I think the world's just small. You'll run into people left At and right. Walmart. Maybe <laughs> don't go to Walmart. Don't don't go to. <laughs> Do not go to Walmart. Don't go to West Covina Mall sometimes. <laughs> don't yeah. go to West Covina Mall. Yeah, for sure. Even the gyms, even the gyms. <laughs> you know what, you guys? No gyms, no malls, no Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, just stay home. And it's yeah. you know that lesson of learning how to let go of people, and uh, you know, I would say. It, it's effective in best friends and in relationships. But even then, like, you can have a best friend in high school and, like, they're not your best friend anymore. Do you have a best friend from high school? I don't think so. Two. Well, no, I have two friends that I've known forever. Yeah. One of them I've known forever. The other one, we became best friends in high school, but we're still best friends. Ah, She's still part of, like, yeah, the yeah. people that I count as my friends. Besides that, like, the girls that I would be like, oh, this is my bestie. Like, nah. Where were Don't you? even have them on social media. <laughs> Where are you? But I'm also, you know? yeah, like I just like mm, no, and it's not like oh, like you're not, you're not, you're no longer convenient to my life. But I don't. It's just more like you no longer complement my life. Yeah. So how's that? Uh, how you said the child loss, your dad getting deported, mm -hmm. that transition of mentally and emotionally, because that's, so I'm, that's just a. A dark place that yeah, you no, get it's into, really a dark place. and it's hard to, at, from yeah. personal like it's it's really hard to get out of. No, a, I agree. Um, no, it truly place. is that way. Um, I remember well when my dad got deported. Um, I want to say it was not obviously not as dark as when I went through my child loss because it was something me and my sisters were also going through, but mm. it was also, I was younger. Like I was only 18. Yeah. So it, my mind was not the same, like, or as, I don't know, it was different. Cause I was like, my dad was deported, but I started to wake up to go to school the next day. You know, like it yeah. was just different. Like I had to laugh in front of my friends and do all those things because I didn't tell people and I didn't tell them because I was ashamed or anything. I just felt like I'm a very like personal person. What I yeah. go through, I go through it. Yeah, and sure. it's just like whoever knows, knows. And like whoever knows my heart knows. And that's it. Um, yeah, it was a really dark place. And it was more of a dark place like um, <clears throat> towards my family. Like yeah. it was just like I felt like unsupported by my family. Mm. And I feel like I still, I'm very like a, I don't like to say this, but I'm very like I hold grudges towards people. <laughs> Me too. No, I do. Me I too. I hold Me grudges too. towards people, and I'm just like, I could never forgive you. Yeah. Because I was in a bad place, and you shoved me lower. Like, how dare you do that to me? Right? So, like, with my dad's family, like, I know I'm going over to see them tonight, yeah. but, like, um, I don't talk to about half of my dad's family for that same reason, because I just felt so betrayed by them. Yeah, because they weren't betraying me. It's like, hard, man. I'm the least, you know, I'm... I was still in California living, you know? Yeah. My dad was dropped off in freaking TJ. Like, he had no money, no nothing. He had his phone yeah. that had no service in freaking TJ. Like, he's never been to Tijuana. My dad came straight here, like, I don't know how many years ago. Yeah. So, um, I remember, like, I still hold a really, really big grudge towards my dad. Some of my dad's family members that were very just not helpful during those times because they knew what we were going through. Yeah. And they would go to TJ and never offer, like, hey, do you want us to take your dad money or food or clothes? <laughs> you want us to help him out? Do you, want us, do you want to come with us so you yeah. can see your dad? Nothing. Nothing. They would be like, oh, we just got back from TJ. <laughs> How's my dad doing? I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So during those times, I remember, like, I just felt so betrayed by my dad's family. And, like, that's when I learned, like, family is not it. Uh, you know, I know that people always say, like, let us stick in the water. But you can build blood close to blood relationships, you know? For sure. And in that's, other people, like in friends. Yeah. You, know? you don't have to be blood related, you know? That's where like all this, growing with growing up, with really realizing who you have next to you. <laughs> we have Noah next to us. <laughs> Even a piece of ham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really knowing who you have next to you and who you have around you. Yeah. And I think that's like the biggest thing I've... For the ones that don't know, like, I listen to Kevin Gates' mm -hmm. albums, like, left and right. And it says, you got to cut the grass to see all the snakes, basically. Yeah. And I took and that. you have to. I took that person. I'm like, all right, well, yeah. 
I see who I have around. I know who I got to cut off. I know who's not meant. Not to offend anybody, honestly, like nobody, anybody at all. Oh, fuck I that. like <laughs> recently um, went through like a social media cutoff. <laughs> so I got off Instagram. No, I got off Snapchat. I got off Twitter. Yeah. Completely. I removed everybody, everybody and everybody. Didn't leave a single person because I didn't feel like I had to. On Instagram, I like one night just went through all my friends and just removed anybody that I just didn't feel like I complimented their life and they didn't compliment mine. For sure. People that just not like just post negative things. I was like, no, like I can't have you. I can't read your Instagram posts like whatever, you know, like I just can't do that. You didn't come sit down? (laughs) Hi. Man. So I just went through like this whole like Instagram cleanse. Really, and I just like removed everyone. I removed famous people that I like, you know, influencers, just because like, even they don't have like this beautiful life that nah. they post. It's so. So I literally only follow people that post like, the good and the bad. The real. Yeah, the pretty yeah. and the ugly, because that's what like that makes me feel like all right, my struggles are, yeah. for good. Because you know? it's again the conversations like we've had, and it's real life things that we've we've both individually have gone through and it's like, well, look at how far we came. Look at the triumphs we Mm -hmm. have had out of coming out wherever we came out from, where there's a lot of things people don't know how we feel. I mean, again, we just finished talking about um, what's happening. And when you were talking about that, it just reminded me, you know, what we went through with my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, man, people... People don't know that that struggle. Yeah. People don't yeah. know, you know, they unfortunately maybe live through it in in their way. Yeah. I was like, but you're not me. You don't know yeah. what I have to go through day like, in, day you out. You don't know my pain. Yeah. And, it, and, it's, and it's, and it's you know, it could be similar, right? Because you lost your grandpa. I've lost my grandpa too. But no, no, my right? closeness to my grandpa is not your closeness to yours. You should kill, man. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, that's a... You know, so it's like, we could have gone through the same thing, but I'm not... I don't think I was ever that close to my grandpa like that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure your grandpa knew exactly who you were. I'm pretty sure my grandpa did not know who I was because there were so many of us and we were all the same age. Yeah. So, like, your pain is not the same as my pain, even though we went through the same things. Yeah. So... That's the... And that's the... The hard part, like, the beautiful and the ugly of life because... Everybody has their own family, Mm -hmm. and how you said, it's so to some people it's impossible to cut off family. I feel like that's easy. It's easy, easy. and the same way here. Yeah, and it's it's sad to say, and a lot of people out there probably are going through certain things, similar stuff. But it's just you know maybe those people Mm -hmm. that are supposed to be your your main supporters and stuff like that are the ones that are holding you back or the ones talking down yeah. on you, the ones being negative or disrespecting your family in a certain yeah. way. It's like, all right, if you're, if I let you disrespect any of my family members, yeah. then we shouldn't, no, we shouldn't sure. even be involved. No, absolutely. I feel like even then, like a lot of families like, um, support the disrespect because yeah. we're family, you know, like, it and happens. I don't like that. It happens. It ha- it's, you know, oh, it's, así son las familias. Yeah. No, it's I, not like, así son todas you las familias. have to. It's like, like no. everybody has that tía, everybody has that tío, everybody has that cousin. No, cut them. Yeah. Because if you don't cut them, they're going to continue. It, so now, like, transitioning. It's, it's, it's yeah, <laughs> Transitioning to a little, I would say, a little bit of happier, like, talk about your traveling. Yeah. You've, the last year to you. I've traveled you, a little bit, yeah. You've been traveling. Yeah. So talk about how, how that feels, like that it's you're fun. able to reward yourself. Um, I do want to say that I went skydiving. I've never posted about it. What the? Yeah. I've never posted about it because I feel like it was such a, like, a me thing what? to do. So I never posted about it. I just, like, I literally, nobody even knows until, like, now you guys, I After guess. this, she's getting blocked because <laughs> that's one thing on the bucket list. Oh, no, do it. Done, no, no, so. no. You have to do it. You have to absolutely do it. So I went skydiving last year. Um, it was my birthday gift from Molly. So that was my birthday gift. And it literally was just like, the reason why I'm saying this after you asked me about traveling is because that was like, traveling's nice. But skydiving, it's like something that you, okay, I was in a really bad place last year after my birthday or around the time of my birthday. Oh. In the beginning of last year. 
And like that skydiving, like it just did it for me. Like I was just like, dude, life is so freaking beautiful. Why am I sad? Like yeah. I'm like able to jump out of a plane. Like what do you mean? Yeah, How is sure. this even possible? I remember like in like as I was jumping, I was just thinking like, how is this legal <laughs> to like do this? This is like it's not a, like it's just no, you should not to jump out of a plane. Yeah. How is this happening? It's just so beautiful. And obviously, like you pick your views and everything, but it's just like such a cool thing to see. Um, but yeah, I've done my like fair share of traveling. Um, lately, it's just been alone. <laughs> Like my last, well, actually, my Florida trips have all been alone. But that I t- almost always travel alone. But that takes a certain individual to really yeah. get up and, and all right, go. I'm gonna go. Yeah. By myself. But I like of, it. I feel like I, I deserve it sometimes because I. You do. Yeah, I feel like you everybody do. does though. Like everybody deserves to just like, if they think like, hey, I want, I really want to go here, dude, just book it. Book it for three, four months from yeah. now. Book it for next year, and when that time comes, get up and go. Yeah. Like, oh, but work. No, 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 no. Book it and then go. Well, we're going to get into that <laughs> once, one. Once that flight is booked, we're going to get into that one. Canceled. We're going to get into like what people making excuses. Yeah. We've had this conversation and I really want to get into this with you because you have no filters. Zero. I know. I don't. <laughs> I'm shy, but I have no filters. But that's a, that's a good part that you got no filters and things need to be said. Yeah. So we're going to take a little break because. All right, part two. We finally got you out of your shell. I know, a little bit more. A little bit more. Maybe we got to do like part five and we'll be good. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. I'm so kidding. how do you feel about people complaining? Because how you just said it right now, like sometimes you just got to reward yourself. Yeah. You just got to do it and be spontaneous. But So how- I think like for sure complain, right? That's fine. Go ahead and make a complaint. Like, But do something about it. <sighs> like you can't complain and not... Take action, right? Like, Facts. you know, like you can't be upset about whatever X, Y, and Z if you and like if you're not gonna do anything to fix that. Yeah. Especially when it's something personal. Like, I'm so mad that like this person is doing better than I am. So do something. What have you done to? It's not necessarily to be there, you know. But yeah. like, what have you done to work yourself to S- that? To put yourself in that yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or like, you can simply like if you're gonna complain, complain. But have like, have there be a method to your madness? Like, have there be have a Something have a plan come. A. Yeah, yeah. Have a plan B. How to why not to com- how to why wait how to not complain about that again. Yeah. Right. Like make a complain like make a fuzz about it once. Yes. Even if it's exactly. just like an emotional thing, like exactly. You know, like I'm sad because whatever. Like, how am I not gonna be sad tomorrow? Let's fix that today. Yeah. Or let's give myself a day to be sad and then I'll fix it tomorrow. Yeah. Give but yourself. This is what I'm gonna do tomorrow to fix it. I think what a lot of people don't understand or just really don't want to comprehend it. <laughs> is the time that you spend complaining, uh, moaning, uh, crying, yeah, bitching more than anything, it's that you're wasting time on what you're spending on really mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to fix it or how to change it. Yeah. Or if you can't change it for whatever reason, it's out of your hands, all right, well, how do I make it to where this mm-hmm. doesn't happen once again? Yeah. And that's why I was just telling, again, I was telling Sergio yesterday, I was like, I'm a... I'm a great listener. I tell everybody, I'm a great listener. Tell me your problem. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But also, you tell people what you, like, Mm. you know, with all your senses, what's, like, appropriate. Yeah. And sometimes people don't want to hear that. No, they they just, again, a lot of people want to just talk about it. So you're a great listener, but you have good solutions, too. Yeah. Or I just want you to tell me your solution. Yeah, that's true. So, easiest one is, I hate my job. All right, what are you going to do about it? All right, so have you applied somewhere else? Yeah, that's true. No, I haven't. Yeah. Well, why is that? Mm-hmm. And oh, because so it d- is, this, 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 this. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, well, you're putting the excuses of why. You're putting excuses above, yeah. like, you know, your personal I'll, feelings or whatever you're currently doing. Exactly. Feeling. So it's just really the people, what I want people to understand, and especially on this episode, is that life can knock you down. Yeah. It can throw blows. Yeah. And I spend a lot of time being sad. Mm. I've spent like my fair share of time being sad over X, Y, and Z things, you know, like yeah. I've gone through, I mean, I know everybody has gone through. I'm not going to say like, oh, my story's the saddest. Like, yeah. no, everybody's is. Everybody's. Um, I am different. Yeah. And no, like what I've gone through has been the worst. No, 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 yeah. no. Like that's just what I've gone through. That's my worst Yeah. so far in life. The, you know, the moments that I've gone through in life have been, those have been the worst ones. Um, but I did spend a lot of time 
being sad. Because imagine like... Well, no, I didn't spend a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time being sad. Because imagine really trying to argue about who was the saddest. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, you went through that. Well, I went through this, so Mm -hmm. I wasn't... It's like, no, man. So, right now that you're saying that, like, I went through that, you went through that. You know, when I went through my child loss... Um, I know, like I mentioned earlier, like it was something that I thought I went through by myself. Like, why are you here if Correct. I'm admitted? You know, it took me a very long time to realize that I didn't go through that alone. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying like it was me and my partner that went through that. No, no, no. Like my whole family went through it. Yeah. Like they went through it. Like you have no idea. Like they cried just as much as I did. Yeah. They mourned just as much as I did, even though they didn't know the baby. Yeah. You know, it was just like, it was a we battle, not an I battle. Correct. And it took me a whole year. So I spent that time, like I spent a whole year being sad alone Damn. when I could have been sad with my family and helped them, you allowed them to help me. Instead of feeling alone, you could have felt supportive. Yeah. Supportive. We could have all just, you know, been there for each other differently. But I was just very selfish. Yeah, because, because sometimes you don't need, and I, I've, I believe in it. You don't need somebody to come in and just be like, I'm going to tell you all this and all this beautiful stuff that things like happen for a reason. Feet, and yeah. da, da, da. It's like, nah, bro, I just, I just need you here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very big on hugs. Mm-hmm. I think you people really do need, need hugs. hugs sometimes. Yes, no, I agree. And I'm a hugger. I will hug you. Yeah. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I've hugged you before, like, at the gym, sweaty yeah. <laughs> as heck. And yeah. I will hug you because I... Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm going to hug you. Why not? Like, I've had people be like, no, but I'm sweaty. I'm going to hug That's you fine. anyways. I'm about to be sweaty. So even, even as a... You know, or it doesn't... I'm as norm- a male, hugging... I normalize yeah. it, you know? Yeah, and, and as it should be, like... Even even if we're drunk or not drunk, mm-hmm. like, I, I normalize hugging them. I normalize... Do you hug I your parents? You. Yeah. Have you always hugged your parents? Yeah. No. That's, no. Yeah. No. I was no gonna say, I'm going to admit it. No. I was like, damn, that's crazy because no, we don't hug. Like, no. We don't like, really, like... Like Hug my mom's hands. side, like we're always, we were oh, always, shit. and we still are, very supportive, very loving. We're we're very there for each other. Um, but me personally, I don't think I was ever. I'm gonna just like hug you, say, "Oh, mm-hmm. what's up?" Mm-hmm. or "Adios." Now it's like, all right, well, it I clicks you, on my I head. Hug you. Or yeah. whenever I feel like it, I'm gonna hug I you. I need to. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. And it's just normalizing again, checking in, talking yeah. about things that yeah. we don't talk about, and. uh because I think if we hold it in longer and more, it builds up. And it and, hurts. And by the time you you can't take it, it's, it's almost too late because you're just like, well, I just did this whole wreckage. But by then, you don't only like affect yourself, you affect everybody, everybody around you. Everybody around you. Because if anybody tries to yeah. like, meter hermano to see how you're doing, yeah. you snap. Because I was like that. I the, was like that when I was going through my grieving process. Yeah. I would snap at people. I oh. just... My mom, my sister checked. Yeah. And at first I was like, nope, nope, Mm -hmm. nope. And then really, again, didn't, I couldn't take it no more. I blew up. And after that point, it was just like, they, they checked me. Yeah. And it's like, all right, well, I I don't admit it to them, but I'm, I'm driving all alone. I'm like, all right, well, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. But sometimes it has to, but it has to be the right person to check you. Yeah. Because it can't be anybody. No, it has to like the valid. They're not validated. Yeah, a lot of people are not validated. Again, how you said earlier, yeah. I don't play a effect in their life. They don't play effect yeah. in my life. If they don't compliment me and, or my life, yeah, or and, I don't compliment them. Yes, so it, it's just for people to really understand that there's a lot of people in our lives right now that mm-hmm. are just not meant to be in yeah. our lives. Yeah, we have to understand it. You yeah. have to understand it. And maybe you and don't want to hear. it's not a disrespectful cut off. No, you know, it's just like all. we're just not good right now. Yeah, and it and it's it's maybe yeah. we're just not in that same path. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're in a different path. Maybe we might meet again, and that's cool. Yeah. And if we don't, it was yeah. good while I met you, while I knew you, while Correct. I had you. You know, because the how we talked about entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur, and I wish I was, and I'm gonna do everything I can yeah. to hold you back. And yeah. that's just what happens. Ah, dude, why are you gonna do that? But that's like. Like the hater in people, you know? Yeah, like, oh, you took out a product. But there's a lot of people that are like that. I I think the biggest one right now, and it's trending, like, you hear about, all right, you took out a product, you charge 20 bucks. Hey, well, give me half off. What do you you mean? You're supposed to be my supporter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Full price that. Yeah, like, (laughs) one. Yeah, no, I have, like, a lot of, like, you know, again, like, I feel like during the pandemic, I tried to support small business i think my family did too we did like we tried to do like a lot of that yeah mainly because we've had my family has had their party business 
for yes. years, like since 2006. My mom has been doing like party rentals and stuff like that. So um, when the pandemic hit, we did try to support as many small businesses as we could. We would just like buy random things. We didn't even need, honestly. We were just like, just try just, it. You know, like if we have it, we can put it out, have the money to Facts. give it to people. You know, like they need it. They have families. We do too. Does it yeah. mean, you know, it's any different? But like, we just know like that times are tough. We get, we know where times are tough, yeah. like really comes from. So we did like try to support small business as much as we could. Like literally as a family, we would just like, if somebody was freaking selling mariscos in the corner, Damn. we're like, hey, we're having mariscos today. Pull we're up. There. Yeah, we would go buy mariscos. We would buy lashes. I was ordering food from yeah. Vanessa forever. Like, yeah. shout out, live shout out Vanessa, meals. live healthy meals. Yes, yes. for sure. Dude, no, like, literally, yes. I think if it wasn't for that, like, I would be at the gym right now. <laughs> like, I would have to, you know, like, no, and that, that's why, I like, just... little things like that. Like, I mean, whether it was just like supporting small business that way, like, it made me feel good that I was, you know, helping somebody out. Like, yeah. and I'm not going to be like, for, I'm going to use Vanessa, Vanessa as an example. I'm not going to go and be like, girl, I got you, da, 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 because I paid for this. No, no, no. Like, yeah. I needed those meals too. You know, I ate them. Like, yeah. you know, so support small business. Like, you're like, providing a product that I really yeah, need. Yeah, and I'm going to pay full price. There was a few times that she was like, let me just give them. And I was like, no, let me pay you something. Like, yeah. it's not, like, it's your time. It's hot, girl. Like. No, let me pay you for whatever, you know. Like, it's your craft. It's your craft. I have like, a friend that sells lashes. Yeah. And she'll be like, oh, I'll just take them to you. And I'm like, I'm going to order them on your website because yeah. I'm going to let your numbers run up. Like, I'm going to order yeah. this like, many lashes. It's, I think it's, it would be disrespectful. Like you said, the party rentals. If I come to you, be like, hey, dude, like, hook me up. What's up? Yeah, with it's the like discount. No, no, that, no. I do that, have people that, that do that. That is hook me up. It's, I have people that are like, hey, like, how do I get in yeah. contact like they want me to be the and i'm like no 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 no. no. you contact the instagram page and Fair, and it goes from yeah. there and i don't tell nobody that like oh my friend wants a party no 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 no. they give you the quote we don't know each other and we're not I, friends because that's business i said it with josh or i said it with leslie and not that i said it, i heard it and i just i put it in my words but it's like i'm I'm not paying, you're not paying for the time that I'm spending. Yeah. You're paying for what I learned in yeah, my what craft, I know. what yeah. I know. My knowledge. Exactly. Because yeah. it could have took, took your family 20 years to know yeah. it. But if you want to pay me as a startup, then you got the wrong one. Yeah. Go pay a startup. But maybe that startup already has that background. Yeah. And it's just like, no, that's yeah. not how relationships work. That's not how supporting works. Mm-hmm. I agree. A lot of people say it like, oh, I support, I support. Do you really? Yeah. Do you really? And I said it yesterday. It was like, there's a lot of people that are out there that put motivational, that put inspiring, mm-hmm. and this, is this. But when you turn around, they're not really. They're like not that. doing it. Or just in real life, you know? There's a lot of social media people. Yeah. And it, it's just I got like, rid of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no offense but to it, anybody that I just removed on social media. It's just like, it was just not like beneficial to my mental health more than anything. I just didn't want to see that. Talk about mental health. Let's talk about I'm, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you right yeah. now. That. Mm. Everybody needs to go to therapy, first of all. Everybody has to go to therapy. You really? don't have to be like sad, crazy, diagnosed. You don't have to be anything. You have, everybody needs therapy. Why therapy? Because everybody needs somebody to talk to that doesn't know you, right? Like you need to be able to talk to somebody in a safe space yeah. that's not going to be like texting your friends. Like, Luis just told me da 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 da. Like, yeah. no. This lady, this guy that's at therapy, you know, whether you're paying them through your insurance, Medi-Cal, whatever the situation is, they don't give a fuck about you to go tell somebody else. Like, they're not going to go Facebook, find you, and tell your friends, you know? Like, yeah. these people just do their job. You're paying them for their knowledge, and they're going to give you what you need to hear, and you like it or not. Listen. It's like, most of the time, it's the truth. You like, know, I went to therapy when I had my issues because I had to go to therapy. Yeah. And then after, I was like, I should keep going to therapy. Like, I kind of like it, you know? Um but again, therapy is not for everyone. Yeah, you need not. to find a therapist that works for you. you. I think you have to, in in my terms, you just really have to find your niche. Yeah. What works for you. Mm-hmm. Because how you said, what worked for you, maybe not work for yeah, me. Yeah, but I was, I was also going to say that. Yeah. Like, therapy is not always necessarily going to a counselor. Mm. You know, because your therapy can be like catching a sunset, catching a sunrise, you know, reading a book 
taking 10 minutes to do this. Something. You know, that could be your therapy. Yeah. Knitting, whatever you do in life. I don't oh, care. I love it. That could be your therapy. It and that, whether that's 10, 15 minutes a day to do that and that keeps you sane, do it. Yeah, because Like, don't let life, like, I feel like life is so fast. It is. That you get caught oh, up in man, that. man, it's so much. Like, And I'm then you're like, oh, dang, I didn't have time to paint my nails today because da 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 and Again, those are just excuses. That that's your therapy. If painting your nails is your therapy, do that. Yeah. Take care of that first, and then take care of everything else. It'll yeah. be better. I I honestly think this is, it's it's not that it started, but since we started, it has been one of my therapies yeah. because I I'm talking to people that I talk to. Yeah. But it's like, man, we can have those a one conversations. Mm-hmm. And how I told you earlier, I was nervous because we've had conversations. Yeah, we have had conversations. And we finally just put it on. We're going to put it on camera for other people to hear. So I think that's like the nerve wracking part is that like my mindset, like I'm very particular with who I speak to people. Like, you know, I I only have your story can help people. Yeah, that's true. Your energy can help people. Yeah. And I know that. I honestly think I'm very like I'm so shy about a lot of things in life and I don't go out there, you know, like there's people that have that energy to go out there and be like, this is my story. And I am also like that to a certain extent, like. Again, if you ask me, are you okay? I can be going through the worst thing in life, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm good. Thanks yeah. for asking. Smile. Yes. How are you? You know. Yeah. You know, I'm not like, dude. I just went through da 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 da. Like, I can do that to you because I feel like yeah. we are friends like that. For sure. But Appreciate I'm very it. like selective. Like, I have very few friends that I can have these conversations with. Yeah. No. And I think that's just important. Again, it's it's really important, actually. And what it. What I we're trying to do in here, and I was explaining it yesterday, it's just look, the stories that we each have individually, mm-hmm. you know, maybe wherever this video lands yeah. in somebody's hands, it's mm-hmm. just like, man, I went through this, or I'm going yeah. through this, and it's just like, well, understand it that you're not yeah. the only one. Yeah, there's a there's a solution or there's a way out of this, and to feel good and mm-hmm. to feel better. And to not feel alone, I think, is more than alone. anything. Yeah. Not feel alone. Again, like just, back I to the mental health. I think everybody needs to know that what they're going through, they're not the only one. Yeah. You know, when I went through my child loss, I remember, like, when I was in the hospital, I thought, like, oh, dude, like, it would be me. Like, I always tell everybody that I have the worst luck, right, And at life. I always say that. And I remember, like, when I was in the hospital, I was like, dude, like, it would happen to me. <laughs> my sisters have, like, all their kids completely fine right yeah my cousins have all their kids completely fine like all these people have all their kids i've never heard of this happening to anybody else until it happened to me yeah so i remember thinking like dude i would be the freak in the family like i would be the weirdo that you know this happens to and then come to find out like the next day when i or not the next day because i was in the hospital for a couple days when i was discharged um there was actually three other people in the hospital that same night that i went through what i went through went through what i went through yeah so I was four. I was number four on that night, um, which, I mean, it took me three days to realize that I'm, I wasn't the only one. Not the only one. But for those three days, I was like, I'm so alone in this. Who do I talk oh, yeah. to? Who do and I reach it, out to? A... Like, I can't talk to my sisters about this because they've never gone through it. Right. Again, I, in that time, I was I had a very closed mind about I was going through this alone. They weren't going through it with me. But yeah, um, yeah like, dude, you're never alone. Nobody's ever alone. Like everything you go through. Somebody has gone through it and just put it out there because somebody might go through that. And whatever you have to say, whatever knowledge you have on whatever topic it is, like it could Yo. help somebody else. It could help the next person. That's the uh, that's that's that niche because and I was again, these are things that I already went through. And I'm talking to people mm-hmm. about as I look, dude. I post what I posted about the kids and all that because everybody has their story. Yeah, I'm here to just normalize that. You can still have kids at a quote unquote young mm-hmm. age, mm-hmm. 25, 26, 27. Uh, you can still follow your dreams yeah. and you can still be successful. It just takes a little bit more. And but also, it gives you more of a drive. It has to. And, yeah, and has again, to. you don't, I'm not telling you, hey, go have kids right now. Make, It'll find make your the drive. life better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, no. It's when the just, time comes, for sure. You know, it's, there's a lot of people that have kids and they, don't know how to be parents yeah. because they just it's unfortunate, but unfortunate it's and those kids suffer. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that really try really hard and Do unfortunately things yeah, happen. Absolutely. But it's just like <clears throat> then there's people that it, that I say that are very fortunate of having the support. Yeah. And it's like, man, sky's the limit. Yeah. But unless you go get it, then mm-hmm. it'll happen. 
you know, we just came back from being in Mexico and I was talking to my dad and I was like, man, the life out there isn't the same it's not, because yeah. I seen women that were in their 20s, mid 20s and sitting outside selling fruit with their baby in hand bottle up or whatever and mm-hmm. oh, fruit or a little kid coming at 12, 12 a.m. Selling, hey, want to buy this? I'm like, mm-hmm. well, here's that. And it's not a here's lot, it. but it's yeah. like, here's that. Don't, don't give me nothing. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. But it. That's it, like such a like. Man, it was. A, like a light switch almost. You know, yeah. Compared to the way we have it like, here. I miss being home but for sure. The thing is that like, I feel like when it comes to kids, um, it sounds like weird, but like it could be a hit or miss, right? They can make you or break you. For sure. Because I've fostered kids before. Um, I got into that whole like fostering thing because of a friend that asked me for help with her daughter that had got, gotten taken away. No shade at all. She had already gotten three of her kids taken away, had a fourth child, which is the one that I was going to foster. And then she had a fifth child. You already don't have custody of all your four kids and you're still going to have a fifth. Another one. Like, you know, you, how do you, how do you do that? Also, like, you know, do your kids not make you better? Like, what do you mean? Like, do you not see them and want to be like the best person in the world? Yeah. You know, like, I don't know, maybe because I see like, even just like looking at Noah right now, I was like, you know, do I talk to him in Spanish or in English? Like, I want to be the best person I could be to him Yeah. in those five minutes that he was here. It's, you know, it's just so tough. And that's why like a lot of people don't. Again, everybody else understands in their own way and will realize it in, at their own time, own pace. Mm-hmm. It's like, in my eyes, I look, I just realized it very yeah. soon. I got taught that. Yeah. I got taught that, you know, my grandpa, you got to take care of your family. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. And, and it's like, important. all right, no matter what, I mm-hmm. might be an idiot. I might do stupid things. I was like, but one thing I know for sure, we will not starve. Yeah, we we're not going to struggle. Yeah, we're not going to struggle. Yeah. Or we're going to struggle, but to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah, like, you know? I won't let you see that yet. Yeah. You know, yeah, I yeah. won't let you see that. But, again, and I just seen it. I seen it because someone had posted it about wasting money buying things for kids. I'm like, mm-hmm. and I was. I told Sergio yesterday, I'm like, bro, like, it hit me. I'm mm-hmm. like, it hit me because I have my kid, mm-hmm. and I've never seen it be a waste of money, yeah. no matter what. You buy it because they need like, it. Like, yeah, because like, um, like I don't need to buy him more toys. Like, he has a shit ton of toys. But never food, never clothing, yeah, never yeah, diapers, yeah. because that's something you need. Yeah. And Those are necessities. Yeah, because maybe at one point when I get old, maybe I need diapers. Food. I, I hope you take care of me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's and, true. And that's the same thing like my dad says. Like, oh, when, when I'm old, I just want you to... To send me two hundred bucks and a back and a pack of beers, say no more. Mm-hmm. We got it, but it it it's just yeah. that. And mm-hmm. for a lot of people, again, we go back to what we see the world and what we see life yeah. is. And people say, oh, and when everything was happening in COVID, oh, this is the worst country. Yeah, go somewhere else, man. You'll figure it out that yeah, this is that's true. this is best yeah. because we win good. And maybe you think you don't win good, but it's because of spending you're doing. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's way yeah, too I mean, much like, for what you're I doing. I know a lot of people that, like, didn't make it out of COVID, like, with anything. Like, they were broke, broke. But also, yeah. their flex was, you know, more yeah. important. Like, there's a lot of people that just flexed it. Like, all COVID, they didn't... They didn't prepare. No, like, but it wasn't even about preparing. Like, you know, they got laid off. They were on unemployment, and they were still, like trying to hit a Vegas, you know, like trying yeah. to hit San Diego. And it's like, hey, calmate. Like, oh like what? What we're are you going doing? through. We're going through a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, snap. He's hey, back. Jonathan. Hi. <laughs> How are you? You thought you heard we were talking about you, huh? <laughs> well, you heard it. You know, kids just have that. The sense. That sense that I hate. It's like when you open a bag of chips and they just like pull up. Oh, bag of chips, bag of cookies. <laughs> or that ready. Coco Melon, the, the tune. He knows it. He knows Coco Melon. Hi. I know it. And so what would you tell, and we not always end it this way, but a big question, what would you tell your younger self or someone that may have gone or is going through the same thing as you? What would you tell them? What advice? I don't know. Um, I think for each situation would be different. Everything I've gone through in life would be different. But I always, I think, 
like what I try to tell myself now. And I think if I were to talk to, if, if and when I do talk to like younger people, I'll be like, dude, like this is not forever, right? Like this yeah. is temporary, like, and you can make it out of it. Like the breakup, you're going to make it out of it. The heartache, you're going to make it out of it. The temporary brokenness, you're going to make it out of it. But you just have to want to. So you find to. whatever you need to find in you to get out. Yeah. Make it out. Oh my gosh, me too. You're going to make it out? Yeah, huh? He's like, I'm on my way. What would Hi. the next thing? It's about someone that's questioning about life. How how do you perceive life, you personally, now? Because, like I said, and for people that know yeah. you and that will get to know you, and after watching this video, will see a little bit of part of you. Like you're a very happy person, yeah. very loving, I very am. giving, very. Um, he is so saboreado with the bottle. <laughs> yeah, he loves the bottle. Hi. Very, um, you're not a, what's the word I'm looking for? You're not selfish. You're yeah. selfless. Yeah. So what, how do, how do you preserve life now, day by day? I truly, like, okay, so I have this on my phone. It says, today I'm grateful for absolutely everything, right? And it's my screensaver. And it literally, like, I'm just like, dude, I have to wake up and think that, you know, because I didn't before. Like, and, you know, before I used to wake up and be like, Ugh, yeah, I have to do this. I have to do this. Dreading it. But no, I'm for sure grateful. Like, I feel like I am now more grateful than I have ever been in life, about life, even just to be alive. Yeah. Especially after the pandemic, a lot of people, you know, lost their lives and stuff. But I feel like now I'm just like, just make the best out of every single day. Even, like, if it's the slightest thing, like, have a drive, like I have a 20 minute drive to work. I am going to have a party. I'm going to have a party on my way back yeah. at work. I am just going to laugh and make everybody laugh all day long because there's no point in being there and being in a bad mood. Yeah. I'm if, not having that. If that's the case, then don't be why there. be there? People don't, don't there. understand yeah. that. They don't, they don't, if, it's not that they don't, they just don't yeah. want to understand But also this. like I do have bad days, obviously. And like everybody, when I do, I'll tell my coworkers like, Hey, I'm just not having a great day. So if you guys see me a little bit off because I'm really like a loud person at work. Um, when I'm having a bad day, they know. And yeah. I try to like snap out of it because that bad day is going to last as long as I want it to last. Facts. And I don't want it to last. Yeah. I need to continue, you know? I'm a e fast Either person. you stay the victim or you you find the solution to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And you get out. Yeah. And uh, so, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not advertising this. <laughs> We're yet. not advertising this. This is, this is just organic, you know? <laughs> you got to make things happen awesome. full-time dad. Full time house with a little kid, but uh, one through ten, where are we at? Mm. It's important. I haven't asked you in a, yeah, li in a little minute, and uh, I know. And I was so nervous for this question. As, too. as soon like, as soon as I touched down, I was like, "All right, well, I, we need to do it." So one to ten, where are we at? Okay, so I have good days and I have bad days. Facts. I feel like everybody does. Yeah. Um, since I got back from Florida, I've emotionally mentally been like a six probably a five i feel like i've been very sad mm. i don't know if it's the travels or if it's just like just a million other things it probably is just the travels that like kind of gives me a setback yeah but um emotionally mentally probably like a five yeah six five six five six how can we get to eh I think from what I've learned, everything a 10 is almost near impossible because there's yeah. always something going on. Yeah. But a, a 7, 8, even a 9 sometimes happens. Mm -hmm. But how do you think we can get to that? How can you get to that? Is this time? So is, I, I think, can... like, I'm very, like, I, I'm, like, an overthinker about everything. Like, I will sit here and think about, like, 2013, June, whatever, da, da da happened to me. You know, like, I think about stuff like that, and it puts me in a certain place. So yeah. I've tried, like, lately I've been trying to not be that way, like, not look at memories, not, like, a, not yeah. think about what happened last year, you know, or, like, where I was last yeah. year, or just things like that. Um, so I think for me to get to, like, a higher number, when I have to go through my travels for the weekend yeah. that I have to go through, unfortunately. But, um... I think once that does get through, like, I probably will for sure be better. Whatever the outcome is, I will for sure be better. Something in me just wants me to tell you, like, 
just know whatever journey you're going through right now, it's just meant for you. Yeah. Because the journey you already have endured and and gone through and lived through, it's it's yeah. who made who it's what made made you who you yeah. are now. And I have I'm first first time experience, I'm telling you because I know you. People you are a light to a lot of people yeah. because of the way you show your love to them. Yeah. So it's just whatever things that is happening, things happen. Yeah. Things out of our control. We can't control it yeah. most of the time. And that's where sometimes we get lost. I know I get lost where I'm like, man, I got to, con- why can't this happen? All yeah. right. Why, yeah. how you said, why me? Mm-hmm. What did I do? What did I do to get, to get treated like yeah. this? What did I do to get this back? Mm-hmm. Did I do this? Or wait, this happened. I did this back then. Is this I'm why it's exactly happening? like that. And then it comes to like, realize. I will think about like the one thing I told somebody in 2009 and I was like, this is my karma. This is why I'm getting. Yeah. And then know? it comes to a realization. This is like, well, all right, I did everything up to now. And uh, it, it took me a very long time to really just. All right. It's not yeah. in my hands. It's yeah. in it's in hands bigger than me. I know whatever like I go through in life, I'm going to grow through it as yeah, well. I have to. So. I don't feel like I ever get worried. Like everything that happens to me, that has happened to me yeah. after my child loss, I'm like. All right, just because of some technical difficulties, and uh, I don't know if we got it or stopped there, but like I said, like, and I'll repeat it for whatever reason where you're going through, it's it's part of you. Yeah. It's supposed to happen to you. Yeah. And it's meant for me. It's meant for you. And mm-hmm. just as, as tough as I had to tell that to myself, like with everything that happened yeah. uh, with my grandpa, my uncle back in 2015, I had to tell myself, man, why me? What did I do? What, did, what did I cause this? What if I didn't do this? Or is this a payback? Is this, this, yeah. is this that? And, and it, it takes that toll on a person to yeah. really understand like, Really accept it. Yeah. A lot of people don't accept what happens in life and they don't want to, but everybody takes their own time. I think also people don't accept that it's just, it's what's meant for you. Yeah. Like there's no cause for that. Yeah. Because I used to think that there was like, I did something here to cause this. There's no cause to it. It's life. Life is just like that. It does what it does. Life is. And I think, I think that way now, which is why I'm so just like, not that I'm like nonchalant about life. I'm just like, What's for me, it's for me, and that's it. Yeah. It's mine. It's only you. It's it's just mine. It's And I'm like, just going to figure it out, whatever it, I have to do. It's so hard because anybody that says, oh, it's easy, it's easy. Ah, get through it, get through it. It's like, well, yeah. I'm gonna, every, everybody has their days. But also because you got through it doesn't mean I'm going to get through it the same way. Yeah. I'm going to go through it my way. You're going to yeah. go through it your way. Like I'm going to tell you how I went, got through it or what happened or what did I have to do. Yeah. But do I have my days? Yeah, yeah, everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody does. I so, still have my days. Yeah. I feel like I just had a day. Me too. The other day. Me too. No no doubt. And yeah. Like, uh, they just, they did a song for my grandpa and just listening to it. And I'm just like, man, this is, this yeah. really happened. This, this really so happened. For me, it's just like life things. Like, yeah. I can be sitting there and I think like, wow, my life would have been like with the four-year-old. Uh, or a three-year-old, whatever the age would have been. like, And I think about this all the time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I go back to this day, and I'm like, wow, like, I would have been, you know? Like, I don't know. I just think of... Is it, we, so I think, like... Um, we always play the what-if games. Yeah. and we that's do. I was going to say that. Like, the what-if games are, like, that they're it, you know? Because yeah. I lost my son when I was seven months pregnant. Yeah. Right? It's tough. Seven months pregnant. It's tough. Next to me, you know... Um, our parents that lose their kids at 22 years old, 23, 24. So it's not like I see them sometimes and I'm like, dude, like what if Angel would have been this age? No. You know, but then it's just like the what if game. But then I always think like, um, would it have been worse if that happened to me like at that age or was it worse now? Yeah. You know, it's just like nothing but what if games like, oh, what if, what if, what if this? What if I went to the doctors this day? What if I didn't? What if I did this? You know, like, yeah. And that's like it's it makes you sick thinking it's, about the what ifs because it, there's endless yeah. possibilities of what ifs. It's just again, what I want people to get out of this is I want them to understand 
or not understand. I want them to check themselves, look at themselves in the mirror. (laughs) Look at what you're doing. Look at what you have. Look who you have around you. Do the whole inspection of everything. Yeah, do a run through. Run through. Run through everything. Good or bad, run through it all. See what your friends, check your family, check. See what's good, see what's not. See what you're doing good, see what Mm -hmm. you're not doing good. And see what you're complaining about yeah. and see if that but can change. But also see who compliments you. Yeah. Because I think that makes a difference. Like, I feel like when I, not that when I went through, when I, what I went through, like, I had bad people around me because I didn't, I'm still really good friends with everybody that I did. But yeah. also, like, a lot of people that were around me, they were not great people. Yeah. So it, like, didn't make me feel better about myself because, you know. I don't know. It's just like who's around you really matters. Like oh. it truly does matter. It does. It does. And, and it uh, makes a difference, like a great difference. You know, it's I'm lucky to have have met re met you yeah. again. I didn't talk to you in high school, yeah. but we re met uh, met the people that I have at the gym. Yeah. Uh, you know, reconnected with my guys and and I'm very confident. Like I always say it, I met you guys, I have them. Yeah. Uh, there's I don't need nobody else. Yeah. If I run into somebody else and cool. they compliment and I compliment, psh, perfect. Let's let's, let's run through it. Yeah, and that's and that's just the whole point. Yeah. Like that life is so so crazy that maybe one moment you have nobody and the next moment you have a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. So it's and just, it's like that. It truly is like that. Yeah. So I mean, did it, I don't know if we ran through the the question came up before or after remembering after no what. The, your check-in, your lovely check-in. Oh, about me saying that I'm a yeah. five? Five. Oh, I don't know if it got it. I, don't know I think it, it was did. after. It was after, huh? Yeah. So we asked you? Did I ask you? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> no, even know. But, you know, the, the, the check-in that I think is very important to yeah. ask the people that they care about yeah. is where we're at. You said a five. Six. Five, six. Five, six. Yeah. I think mainly because I just had one of my days where I thought about, like, you know, like I just said, like, I thought about, like, oh, my God, like, my life would have been this with this year old, you know, child. Like, yeah, thinking back. You know, and it also makes me, like, think, like, would I have a wanted what I have right now for my child or would I have wanted more? Like, am I doing the right thing right now? No. You know? Um, so that always makes me, like, step back, step back, step back and just, like reevaluate everything I'm doing in life like at the moment and just like who's around me what's around me how I'm doing my day-to-day and then I mentioned about my screensaver how I have that quote that I just read every day to be grateful you have to damn girl she's crazy yeah um just to be grateful because I feel like I wasn't always grateful for for my bad days especially I I am so grateful for my bad days now because my bad days keep me in check like massive check. Oh. If it wasn't for my bad days, I don't think I would be like here right now. And I think the phrase that I've heard and I stick with it, if we don't go through our bad days, how do we know what good days are? Yeah, you don't. We don't. You don't. And I feel like when you're in high school, you don't know bad days. Like zero. No. I mean, you might, but you don't. I felt like I thought life was ending then. And I was like, man, I'm going through this. This is horrible. No one else is going through no, this. No, but then you get hit. And then the heartbreak happens and you're just like, fuck. And yeah. I want to die. Yeah. This, this, this. Yeah. And now looking back, I was like, Phew. that was nothing. That was minimal. Literally nothing. That was nothing. Yeah. Zero. To like, and you know, I want to throw this story out there, like um, realizing a lot of things and I didn't, be, I didn't become spiritual or believing in, in the power above until, you know, a, a year ago, recently, again. And um, before that, I had never stepped foot in church. I didn't care about Me it. Either. I didn't want to. I didn't believe in it. Mm-hmm. And then, because when our, unfortunately, my uncle passed in 2015, mm-hmm. after that, I said, man, the world's out to get me. Yeah. You're against me. I don't want to yeah. be there. I don't believe in this. Yeah. I don't believe in the words. Mm-hmm. Yada, yada, yada. I went through the whole thing. And then, unfortunately, when my grandpa passed away a couple months ago, it was the first time I was back in the church scenario. Okay. And I did my crying. I did my mourning. Mm-hmm. And they asked me to read at the whole thing. And I was like, yep, I have to. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. And it was just, you know, and it was one of those things that, you know, it makes you realize so much. Like, I, I did all the crying here, but yeah. once I hit over there, I can't. Yeah. I can't. 
I'm like, I, I built that, that, I don't know, that, uh, that fort that I was like, all right, I got to stay here. I can't go around it. And yeah, I came back and it took a couple weeks and then bam, once Finished back, off, I'm yeah. back. No, I was back again in my hole. I couldn't even dig out. I because was, you didn't do. I was struggling. Yeah. And we finally went back. We went to go celebrate his birthday still and came back and I feel one, 100% better. Good. And it was like, man, it took that. Did they not get your dog? Huh? The things don't get your dog? Nah. <laughs> thankfully. I know. Thankfully. But, um. Um, no, that's crazy Um, that you say, like, you know, that you stepped out of church and all that stuff. Because we used to go to church when we were little as yeah. well. Um, And I remember when I went through what I went through, like, I was just like, God is just out to get me. Like, do I even trust him? Like, yeah, that's very questionable. So since I went through what I went through, I now always just say, like, the higher power. Yeah, the higher like power. Like, the power above, whatever it is. It's, good. it's, it's a... It, no, it, it really is just power, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, but it, no it, offense to everybody. It's because it, it's a... It's what they say. Don't talk about policies or religion. I know, Don't I know. ever do it. And I'm I like, know. higher power above. Yeah, the higher Whatever power, power you it, believe yeah. in. No, I agree. Just, because I... Yeah. I, when I refer, I always say, yeah, the higher power, like, whether you think it's a male or female, the higher power is the whatever higher power. Think. It's just the power. It's not... Yeah. It's not a gender. It's just the power. Yeah. That's it. Like, it's just an energy. It's something you feel. Like, uh, yeah. it's not anything. I don't have to go to church to talk to anybody. I just feel it. Yeah, uh, No. And that's, to each their own, they got to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, everybody has their journey. Yeah. And what I want everybody to understand is, you, they got us, they just got to believe in a process. They got to believe yeah. in themselves. In themselves more than anything. More yeah. than anything. And, uh. Reevaluate yourself, yeah. you know, and check yourself and check if, you. And it's it won't be funny, but if they haven't, you got to like, subscribe, share it. I know. Because, yeah. man, what we did, what you did today, sharing your story, thank you. You're gonna have a lot of people just changing, they're gonna, you know, but I'm gonna take nervous laughing. So yeah, you're you gonna look back in the message to me and be like, man, I was so nervous. I'm like, I'm not telling you, you were nervous, but I'm gonna take my shot. I'll take a baby shot. You take a, a baby shot? shot? Oh, yeah, I will take a baby shot. There we go. Straight out of Mexico, right from Mexico. Did and we, right to Mexico. Right to Mexico. <laughs> Where are we at? Ooh. There you go. I'm there we go. Thank you. So we're going to do this. We're going to do yes. a toast to life because yes. this was long awaited. Way overdue. Way overdue. And we finally yeah. made it happen. So Thank when you, you guys seen me. it, you guys better like it, share it, subscribe Cheers. to it. Woo! It went down. I was going to burp at the same time. Shit, stay tuned and stay tuned for the next episode. (laughs) Woo!